generational Golan shall be disgraced. Shout the loudest, hallelujah. Who has the final say? manifest there are people here tonight who have been going through stress stagnancy frustration abuse mockery but beginning from tonight the Lord God that dwelleth in Zion shall arise for your sake in the name of Jesus what no one in your family has achieved you will rewrite the history in the name of Jesus let that be silence now please don't say anything for now just keep your eyes closed and focus your attention on Jesus Father we thank you for we know that all powers belong to you. Father, we thank you because you are greater than the greatest and higher than the highest. There is none like unto the Lord our God who rided upon the heavens to help us. Underneath him are the everlasting hands. He shall push our enemies before us and he will see unto us destroy them. Father, as many as are gathered here in this particular crusade that there is an organization of domestic witchcraft an organization of stepmother stepfather witchcraft an organization of former boyfriends witchcraft an organization of stagnancy working against them wherever such people are standing now let the power of the Lord God of Elijah begin to visit them one by one everything the enemy has stolen from anyone here by the power of the God of Elijah I command them to be restored in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Silence now. Please don't say anything for now. Don't even say amen until I ask you to say amen. Father, anyone bound by the waters from getting married, let them be released. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anyone bound by ancestral serpents from the school of marriage, right there where they're standing, let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. In the name of Jesus. you have powers that have vowed that you will never marry. Mapata Rika Center, wherever you are, I command that chain to begin to break. That's number one. That's number two. That's number three. Let the chain be broken. Let the chain be broken. Let the chain be broken. Let that chain be broken. In the name of Jesus. Ah. 
It's time for you to pray now. One prayer. Pray it without any apology. Pray the prayer with fire and with power. Pray it with all your strength. And don't bother what happens in the camp of the enemy as you pray this prayer. Powers! Mocking my state. Can I hear you shouting that loud? You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Deal with those powers now. Something is happening already. That's right. Let the power of God begin to move. 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 In the name of Jesus. Them we pray as we pray this second prayer. If you are in this gathering tonight, someone confess to witchcraft in your family and mention your name that they are behind your case. Please find a way to this altar and be on your knees and pray the way you've never prayed before. Someone confess to witchcraft in your family and they mention that they are in charge of troubling your life. Or any time you pray some serious prayers, you always see these people who are close to you. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees and pray the way you've never prayed before. The power of God is moving from person to person here. Can you shout this loud and clear? Joy of the enemy! Over my marital life! In the name of Jesus. Yes, deal with the joy of the enemy over your marital life. Masakatenda Yabo Shantaraba. Masikatena yabo shanta rabo santa. Open your mouth and decree it. Be released. Be released from their grip. Enough is enough. Be released from their grip. Enough is enough. Aha, 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 aha. Let the joy of the enemy over your marital life terminate. Terminate, terminate, terminate. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Aha. Uh -huh. Those of you at this altar, those of you at the altar, stretch your right hand towards me. Stretch it towards me. Father, let your fire enter into these hands now. As you use this hand, beginning from today, every yoke of witchcraft upon your marital life is broken. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count seven. Smite your head. And your destiny will be delivered from their hands. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes, your destiny must be delivered from their hands. Masikatenda Yaboshenta. Your destiny must be delivered from their hands. Aha. 
Everybody stretch your right hand. Everybody now. If you are a student and you are here, you want academic excellence, stretch your hands too. Father, let the power of restoration, the power of uncommon breakthroughs, fall upon this house in the name of Jesus. As this house are used, let every yoke of the enemy be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. Don't feel sorry for that. They smite it now. What? That's right. Two. Come out of her. Come out of her. Through the mouth. Through the nose. Through the womb. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You can't hide. Enough is enough. Aha. Can you shout this louder than anyone around there? I say, I fire back. Every hour of anti marriage witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Fire it back. Fire it back. Enough is enough. Jesus name we pray father I'm praying for your children at the altar here beginning from tonight every anti marriage yoke is broken in the name of Jesus every decision of witchcraft concerning your life I cancel it now in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father in Jesus name we pray you may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank God you were able to come to this crusade. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we pray this next prayer, if you are in this anti marriage spirit crusade and in your family, you know very well that marriages do not work. Find a way to this altar too and be on your knees and make a decision. That even if it's not working for others, it must work for you. Yes, pray the way you've never prayed before. And don't negotiate with the enemy. Tonight is not a night to negotiate. Tonight is not a night to joke. Can you shout this loud and clear? Dark power! Blocking my mind! Jesus. This is not a night on a bushite. But put a set of the Kaya Boshanga. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus name we pray now with anger in your soul say patterns of sorrow in my family I am not your candidate can you shout it loud your voice is not loud enough Jesus, don't negotiate. Today is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name, we pray. Those of you at the altar with violence begin to shake your head, shake it. 
Yes, shake it. As you shake it, you are rejecting every evil pattern. Shake, shake, shake. You can't negotiate with them tonight. Every plantation of darkness in the head, in the womb, in the breast, out, 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 Mapila katende kaya boshende raba. Rima sopande kaya boshenta. There must be no negotiation. Check it out, check it out. Check out the serpents and scorpions. Amen. I decree upon the life of everyone on this altar here that the Lord will change the rule for your sake. In the name of Jesus. If other marriages are not succeeding, yours shall succeed. You shall succeed. You shall succeed. You shall succeed. You shall succeed. In the name of Jesus. Silence. Silence. Father, I make this decree here that wherever this sister is now, that she has been married to a serpent in the spirit and she keeps seeing this serpent in her dream. Wherever she is now, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon her. The serpent in the body. Catch fire. 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 The satanic plantation inside the womb. In the name of Jesus. Push them out now. It's happening. That's the first person. That's the second person. That's the third person. That's the fourth person. That's number five. That's number six. Number seven. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I commit your children at the altar unto your holy hands. Beginning from now, you shall rewrite your family history. In the name of Jesus. And every power that has confused you in the past, I release you from that confusion in the name of Jesus. That says your wedding bell shall not ring before we leave this gathering. They must die. A for them. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As you pray this next prayer, that's why I say God brought you to this meeting. There is there are miracles that must happen in your life. As you pray this next prayer, if you are a student here, all of a sudden you discover you are having memory failure. You discover you forget things that you have prayed. You discover that you have been pressured. That is, something is not right with that head. Just find a way quickly to this altar and be on your knees. Pray like a mad prophet because your destiny, we're talking about your destiny here. Pray like a mad prophet. You are having issue with that head. You are forgetting things. You are having migraine. It's as if you don't even understand what is going on. Can you shout this loud and clear? Arrows fired into my brain! Jesus. 
Open your mouth and decree. Don't negotiate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, those of you at the altar here, something is up. Just be quiet. Something is happening now. I saw an angel in your midst and he's doing a surgery. Something is being taken out from the head. Fire. Fire. He's coming upon the head. Amen. Those of you at the altar, I want you to sing a song seven times. Sing it. Let don't let the voice of the person next to you overshadow your voice as you sing this song. Just seven times. I shall not fail. I shall not fail because of Jesus. Number one now. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Amen. Silence. The surgery is still continuing. The surgery is still continue. That's the fire. He's burning inside the brain. Inside the brain. Every arrow of the enemy. Out, 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 out. Everybody, whether you are at the front or anywhere, shout this loud and clear. Anti-success power. Of my father's heart. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, I release the spirit of success upon your children here in the name of Jesus. The success you are going to start having now shall be greater than all the ones you've had in the past in the name of jesus and any power that does not want you to excel i bind and cast them out in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray you may go back to your seat rejoicing now aha aha Aha. If you are in this gathering tonight, your father is a native doctor or was a native doctor. Your mother was a marine priestess or your father was a marine priest. You know it very well. Please just quietly find a way to this altar. I'm bear this. Your father was a native doctor or your mother was a marine priestess. Just find a way to the altar. Ministers, bring your anointing earlier for these people here now. Yes. Find a way to this altar. If your father is not a native doctor, don't come out. Aha. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Satanic siren. Satanic siren. 
chasing away my divine partner shut up in the name of Jesus Once you have been anointed, you can go back to your seat. Once you have been anointed, go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. You will raise up your voices in faith and with power. Even if you have a fiancé, still raise up your voices in faith and in, with power. Can you raise up one your right hand to the heavens and shout this with a command? I call forth my better half to appear in the name of Jesus begin to call him a half of Jesus name we pray a louder amen a louder amen shout hallelujah before you sit down I'd like you to go to seven persons and prophesy unto their lives say my friend your testimony shall shock your enemies in the name of Jesus can you say it to seven people? Amen. What month is this one? Okay. Now look for 10 people you like. Say, my friend, any power that wants you to die shall die in your place in the name of Jesus. Let's have a say God bless you. Within a few minutes from now, this crusade will close. So it's good to listen to this very short message, which will propel us into our next session of prayers. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. 
dealing with anti-marriage forces. Genesis 2.18, dealing with anti-marriage forces. Genesis 2.18. The Bible says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. I read it again. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Marriage is an institution started by God. And it's a relationship between a husband and a wife. But the next worst thing that can happen to a person outside hellfire is a bad marriage. So the choice of who you marry actually determines the course of your life. 99% of your success or failure will depend on who you marry. It is a day of tragedy the day you marry a fire extinguisher that extinguishes the fire that you have. It is a day of tragedy the day you decide to marry your enemy. Many women have died untimely because they actually married their enemies. And pray for somebody here that you will not marry your enemy. <laughs> if, you understand, if you understand that prayer, your enemy will be louder than that. You will not marry your enemy in the name of Jesus. You must have read of husband killing the wife. You must have read all those things. They marry their enemies. It was at a campus crusade many years back. And we had a meeting like this. And what, what was the question I asked that day? I asked all the sisters to sit down. And I said, any sister here who wants to marry a husband like their father should stand up. Practically 90% of them stood up. They do not wish to marry a husband like their own father. So meaning there is a serious problem. Right now, there is a rage, a siege against those who want godly relationships. The enemy is fighting and causing trouble and making people to make horrible mistakes. Successful marriage is always a triangle between a man, a woman, and God. So you cannot leave God out of it. If you leave God out of it, you become a victim of this kind of forces we are here to deal with. Are you in this meeting tonight? You are always having the wrong, wrong men. Are you in this meeting tonight? You are attracting wrong, wrong persons to you. The kind of people you have are wrong, wrong people. Are you in this meeting tonight? You are always getting disappointment in relationship. Are you in this meeting tonight? You lie awake all night worrying that you'll be alone all your life. Are you in this meeting tonight? You are tired of being the sheep bride made of the best man of people. Are you in this meeting tonight? You are fed up with people asking you, when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? They keep asking you. Are you in this meeting tonight? Every man you've ever met was only interested in getting things from you. Somebody came to you to approach you for marriage and the next thing he's asking you for is recharge card. Are you in that are you in that kind of are you that kind of person? Are you the person that right now you are even thinking maybe the best thing to do is to go and make do some treatment to balloon my breast? Maybe if I have a big breast, I balloon my bum bum. Then I will be able to make progress. Are you in this meeting tonight? Men who keep coming to you or women who come your way are those who want to destroy you. This is what is now pushing me to the prayer that my wonderful wife says I should pray for all of you gather here.
she, she asked me to tell you that any power manipulating your marital life unto disgrace shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. The enemy has worked out serious plans to destroy marriages. One of those serious plans is all this kind of sexual perversion. A spirit of sexual perversion has been released upon the world now, and there is sexual looseness everywhere. I saw a statistic which shocked me. It says every second, three thousand dollars is being spent on pornography. Every second, twenty-eight thousand twelve and fifty-eight internet users are viewing pornography. And in that same second, all kinds of people are typing all kinds of immoral things on the internet, and it has destroyed so many people. Many don't realize that watching those kind of things is like you are getting blood transfusion from hellfire. And it's all this kind of anti marriage spirits that is causing the problem. So there are specific spirits. Their job is to hinder the right matches to make sure you don't get the right person. Their job is to hinder the right marriages. Their job is to delay. Or their job is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. I pray that today every agenda of darkness against your marital life shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Before I quickly go and look at these anti marriage spirits, the few we can cover before we start praying again. There are some dreams that if you are having, they are anti marriage dreams. Don't joke with it. They may be teaching you something else in your church where you are going. But your dream life is your spiritual monitor. It tells us what is going on in your life in the spirit realm. So if you ignore those dreams, it's to your own peril. Joseph, the first Joseph in the Bible was a dreamer. The second Joseph, the father of Jesus, was also another dreamer. So your dream life is your spiritual monitor. It tells us what is going on. And once you begin to have those kind of dreams, the Lord is telling you, you have issues. If, for example, you dream that they're taking your shoes away, shoes always represent marriage. You dream that you have only one pair left, it's an attack. You dream that you have barefooted, it's an attack. So all the dreams of eating, they're anti-marriage dreams. Sex in the dream, anti-marriage dreams. Seeing yourself in the marketplace, you don't even know where to go, anti-marriage dreams. You find yourself laying with unknown men, getting married to people you don't know, anti marriage dreams. You find yourself being pursued. So some men or women they're just running after you. And you don't know why they're running after you. Anti marriage dreams. You find your wedding gown being stolen is anti marriage dreams. You find yourself in a church on a wedding day, you find an empty church, it's an anti marriage dream. You were beside your partner and a wedding was taking place. All of a sudden the partner disappears. It's anti marriage dream. You begin to find disappearing bibles disappearing gowns those are anti-marriage dreams see yourself marrying same personalities in the dream anti-marriage dreams swimming in the waters anti-marriage dreams causes being issued against you in the dream that you will never marry anti-marriage dreams being read in the dream anti-marriage dreams you find yourself marrying ex-lovers and those that you have left before anti-marriage dreams now if you don't dream at all that's even worse because it means that anything that goes on in your life you don't have any control if it's bad you cannot stop it if it's good you cannot claim it because you can't see anything it's a very terrible thing you see yourself in chains or ropes they are anti-marriage dreams you find yourself climbing mountains and mountains and you don't you can't get to the end of the mountain anti-marriage dreams you find yourself taking some examination you're not finishing it it's an anti-marriage dream too you find yourself going back to your former house going back to your father's house going back to the former place you used to be anti-marriage dreams 
you are writing examination you have already passed it's an anti-marriage dream see yourself naked anti-marriage dreams see yourself being romanced or being kissed by unknown person anti-marriage dreams finding yourself pregnant in the dream when there is no husband anti-marriage dreams you find some men contesting over you and you, you know that they are fighting because of you it's an anti-marriage dreams you find yourself married to a relative anti-marriage dreams or marrying to a dead person anti-marriage dreams it's good for me to explain this to you so you know how to fight and where to fire your arrow of prayers when we start now you find yourself being yoked together with people that you know ordinarily you cannot even move close to them it's an anti-marriage dream so if you have any of these kind of dreams when we start just now pray like a mad prophet pray like a man or woman from another world in the few minutes we have and the lord who has brought you here will deliver you five sisters from the same family all got married all of them but one by one the marriage packed up and they went back to their father's house one by one one by one until all five were back again and the father a strange man once they come and say ah they've chased your house too well, go to the boys quarter there is room there your former room so all the five daughters came back home but the last daughter the last daughter started coming to the mountain of fire they sent her out too but she decided no 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 i can't take this so she came and somebody gave her a book this the book was the first edition of pray your way to breakthroughs so she got the book she decided that no 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 if if, if it's happening to others not me when she took the book home she read the book says well uh, get born again do this do that then pray the prayer from 12 midnight maybe start midnight pray so she took the book being a new person to spiritual warfare she didn't know which page to pray so she just started the book from page one and was praying both relevant and irrelevant prayers as she was praying she prayed up to one o'clock in the night the next morning the grandmother who lived with them called her and said to your sister what kind of prayer did you pray last night i said ah, normal prayer I said no it's not normal prayer please don't pray those prayers again pray the kind of prayer we used to pray in our orthodox church not this prayer do you understand to your sister said i see okay second day she started at 12. she stopped at 3 a.m again in the morning grandma was by her door same to us the prayer i actually want to pray yesterday you prayed it again today hey to us if you continue praying this kind of prayer you will soon have a dead person you handle to us said i see you then the next day to us did 12 to 6. 12 to 6. She drank coffee to remain awake. 12 to 6. By the morning, grandma was dead. But that is not the story. The story is that when they were bringing up a stuff, they found a strange padlock. I saw the padlock. The body of the padlock was like the body of a newly born rat. The padlock was anointed. We broke it open. Beloved, inside that padlock was a cotton wool of blood and the names of all these ladies. So, as far as they were still doing their menstruation, they were not supposed to marry. The marriages had been padlocked. Can you raise up your right hand and shout this louder than anyone here? Marital padlocks. I am not your candidate. Die in the 
the name of Jesus. Deal with the padlock of darkness. In Jesus' name we pray. We're talking about anti marriage spirits now. An anti marriage spirit can be inherited marital distress. It's in the family. It can be spirit husband, spirit wife. It can be poverty. It can be the traverse of the firstborn because the firstborn is normally a candidate of parental examination and ignorance. It can be bearing anti marriage names. They might give you a name that is anti marriage. Certainly, if you are bearing the name Linda, change it because Linda means snake. Names like Monica means uncertain. Evil marks also are anti marriage spirits. Spirit of rejection, they are anti marriage spirits. Parental curses, curses issued by parents against you that you never marry, they are anti marriage spirits. Spiritual blindness, you cannot really see God's choice for your life, they are anti marriage spirits. Spiritual dowry, a power has collected or dowry in the spiritual realm, they are anti marriage spirits. Spiritual wedding clothes, they are anti marriage spirits. There are people who wear invisible spiritual wedding rings. They are all anti marriage spirits. Polygamic spirits. They are all anti marriage spirits. If you come from a polygamous family, you need to pray hard. Bad health. They are anti marriage spirits. Bastard spirits. They are anti marriage spirits. Evil covenants. They are anti marriage spirits. Anger. Anti marriage spirits. Broken homes. Anti marriage spirits, emptiness, anti marriage spirit, familiar spirits. Once they begin to tell you, you have familiar spirits, you have an obanje, you have things like that, they are anti marriage spirits. Witchcraft attack, they are anti marriage spirits. Household witchcrafts, just like the one I described to you, they are anti marriage spirits. So, all kinds of array of spirits have been released to destroy marriage. And if you don't confront them, if you don't stop them, they will stop you. And that is the reason for this one of its kind crusade, which has never been held before. And for you to be here, it means God has an agenda for your destiny. What do we do tonight? First, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. Two, you need to repent from every known sin. Three, you need to now wage war against the spirits. And that is why we are here. Within the next few minutes, a lot of transactions are going to take place here. For people who have been written off, will become celebrities. And those who have been marked down for shame, shall become people to be celebrated. Rise to your feet now. Rise to your feet. All eyes closed. We have a short time to spend here. I want to spend it very well. But I'm here to give you maximum assistance. So if you are here tonight, you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, but you want deliverance from these spirits, the first thing is to surrender your life to Jesus. So wherever you are, because we don't have time, we want to go and pray. I'm just going to count one to ten. Run quickly to the altar here to surrender your life to Jesus. Once I finish counting ten, we just pray for those who are here. It means maybe you are not ready. <laughs> To get your freedom today by the time i can't tell that will be the end and then we'll go on to other things so if you want to surrender your life to jesus while i'm counting just find your way quickly to this altar now one remain standing remain standing remain standing stand stand two three four hurry up hurry up five Six. Seven. Eight. Nine.
those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. But there are six, seven more people who should join you here. You have come from a strange family. You think you are born again, but you are not. Uh, because you are still playing with sin. I want you to surrender your life to Jesus tonight so that you can be delivered. If you miss this opportunity, I don't know when it will come your way again. So because of those seven people, I'm just going to wait for one or two minutes for you to quickly join them at the front. You have come from a strange family where they destroy destinies. And you are in this gathering. Quickly join them to surrender your life to Jesus now. Because of you, I'm just going to hold on for one more minute. I say yes, yes, Lord. I say yes, yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, yes, Lord. I say yes. Taking the most important decision in life, and I congratulate you. Just bow down your heads and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now, Lord Jesus, come into my life, take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I say bye bye to marital disturbance. I say bye bye to evil marital pattern. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have surrendered their lives to you tonight. I pray that you keep them standing by your power. You lay your hands upon their lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Write their names in the book of life. And today they've surrendered their lives to Jesus. Let their lives no longer remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Open your eyes and look at me. Just you look at this, brethren. Here. Just follow them to this corner for a little bit. Then you can come and join us later. We need to take some information from you so we can be praying for you by name. And we can be praying for you every day. Just follow them to that corner. Look at them over there. God bless you. Let's go. God bless you. God bless us to do so. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on, on the, the land, land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the
Everybody rise to your feet and close your eyes. Now right there where you are, talk to the Lord. At any sin that will keep anti-marry spirit in my life. Father, forgive me. Talk to the Lord now. Any sin at all that will keep anti-marry spirit in my life. Father, forgive me. Talk to the Lord now. It is time to experience uncommon breakthrough. It is time to disgrace your disgrace. It is time to torment the tormentors. Any sin at all, ask the Lord to forgive you. Amen. Get yourself ready. The battle line is drawn. And victory is yours. As we pray this first prayer. If you are in this gathering tonight. You always face disappointment. Marital disappointment. Being jilted at all times. Wrong, wrong people. Please find a way to the altar and let your prayer roar like fire and like thunder. This is not a night to negotiate. This is not a night to joke. This is a night of serious breakthrough. With a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. Pass! Say no to my marital success. Can you shout this loud? Your time is up. Day in the name of Jesus. If you are saying no to your marital success, their time is up now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Those of you at this altar, open your mouth and begin to breathe in and out through the mouth and through the nose and do it very aggressively. Yes, do it aggressively. Everything you have eaten or swallowed that the enemy is using against your marital breakthrough, I command it to come out. Through the mouth, through the nose, through the womb. Out, 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 out. In the name of Jesus. Aha. They are coming out, they are coming out. Everybody shout this loud and clear. Anti-marriage yo! Break! In the name of Jesus. Break that your Christ now. Jesus name we pray
beginning from today, I decree that every marital failure is cancelled in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you uncommon joy in the name of Jesus. And your testimonies shall be great. You shall be decorated and celebrated in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I'm praying for all who are gathered here tonight. And anytime they want to move forward, there is a force that contests with the moving forward. Father, right there where such people are, whatever covenant they have formed with any force preventing their breakthrough i break the covenant in the name of jesus any covenant with failure at the edge of success any covenant with failure at the edge of success any covenant of trouble at the edge of breakthrough i break that covenant in the name of jesus every power of polygamous witchcraft lose your hold in the name of jesus thank you jesus now look for a partner look for somebody and join your hands to that person one to one one to one make sure you are holding the two hands of the person ask for the person's name so what's your name ask for the person's name if he's not telling you the name look for somebody else ask for the person's name now you will shout the person's name loud and clear daniel Jesus. Jesus.